Now, the FIC, tell us a little bit about, bit about their work, Mr. Powell, because one of the senses I get, and I could be mistaken, is that often we get reports on horses that have left the stable and we, we can just see their tails disappearing over the, hoof, over the hill. D- does it come out with this information in sufficient time to be able to, for example, prevent money moving? Absolutely. I think what happens with suspicious transactions is accountable institutions and any entity or individual that may potentially be dealing with the proceeds of criminal activity, they've got to report within 15 days. And usually when the financial institutions encounter something that looks like a potential bribe which was paid to one of their customers, they will issue those reports immediately to the FIC and the entity, the institution, can continue with the transaction, so they're not allowed to tip off the individual that they have reported them to the FIC. And the FIC has got a a team that will assess the information, and they will channel that as a priority to either SARS or the uh, Specialized Commercial Crime Unit or or even the DPCI, the Hawks, whoever needs to deal with it. And, And when live issues are being reported, they prioritize getting that into the hands of the authority. So there are a lot of arrests and there's a lot of individuals and yes. transactions that are identified through this reporting. But unfortunately, it's all shrouded in a lot of secrecy because obviously investigations have to be done and arrests need to be made without alerting the suspects. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman on 702.